surprise. I didn't see you there. Just kidding, I did. If you are someone who's done theater or likes theater or has anything to do with theater, you know exactly what this is. This Ben Nye personal makeup kit. And I've kind of come up with a way of using this for everyday makeup. Trust me, I've tried this several times and I'm like, everyone else should know about this. That, you know, that makeup kit that's sitting in the back, you know, in your drawer somewhere that you're like, gosh, I gotta use it. Well, now you got a use for it. So stick around, stay tuned, and you'll see what all this video is about. To remember, subscribe, thumbs up, all that jazz, leave me a comment. Anyway, you know, we get pretty crazy on this channel, so remember to subscribe. Yeah, that's pretty much all. But anyway, we're gonna jump into this because I'm super excited to do it. If you can't tell, I'm like, ah, so excited! Okay, so anyway, we're gonna get started, so let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start by Pariman my face with, of course, Smashbox's photo finish. I'm going to open the kit and I'm going to show you what we'll be using today. Um, the kit usually comes with a powder puff, a thing of translucent powder, a brush, this four, you know, cream contour palette, and then a foundation. The only things that we are going to be using today, so our skin doesn't break out like None other. We are just going to stick with this. People usually use these to like make wrinkles on stage or to make things more defined. Um, usually darker is used for more shadows. The brighter one is used for more highlights. Uh, these are mostly used for lip color or cheek color. But today we are going to break all those rules and use them for everyday contouring. So I'm going to take the brush that it comes with and this bright red shade right there. I am just going to use the brush that it comes with and I'm just gonna kind of paint it onto my face. Definitely looking like a clown. Just for the sake of showing you guys this, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put foundation on my nose so I can contour my nose at the same time. You know, so I'm going to use my Beach Cosmetics HD foundation and I'm just gonna apply it to my nose really quick. Whatever, we'll do this. Okay, now for the extremely fun part. We're gonna be using this brown color right there. That one right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place it onto the nose. We're just gonna draw a tiny little line down the nose. And then another one. Between wipes so I don't mix colors. I'm using my cute little frozen Kleenexes and I'm just gonna wipe it off. We're gonna go into that white shade right there and I'm just gonna draw it down the center of the nose. my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend out the red. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some foundation to cover up, you know, the red underneath my eyes. Oh my gosh, yeah, hold on. It's still a triangle underneath my eye. Holy shnikes. I'm just gonna take one little pump of foundation. I'm gonna go back with my stippling brush and I'm just gonna kind of blot it all over my face. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna use my buffing brush to just kind of buff it into my skin. The stippling brush was just simply 
to get it spread out evenly, not necessarily to blend anything in. Perfect. Today I'm going to be going in with my Mary Kay concealer right here. I am in the color Ivory One, you know, for all my fellow pale skin friends. Now I'm just going to go through with my BH Cosmetics foundation brush and I'm just going to kind of spread it out. beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend out that concealer. Before I blend out this little weird looking thing on my nose. I'm not even gonna say what it looks like. So we're gonna take that brown color right there with that brush that comes with the kit. And I'm gonna start where I normally contour my face. And bring it down. Same with the other side. And I usually contour my chin. This is also just a preference thing. Actually, contouring in general is just a preference thing. You don't have to actually contour like this, but. And of course, we're just gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. Now I'm going to blend out my nose. I'm going to start with one side of my nose and then flip it and move to another side of my nose just so I don't combine colors. So now flip it and use a different side. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and bake my face with this e.l.f. high definition powder that I got. Um, If you've seen my channel and seen my other videos, you know I was using the um, loose powder. The loose powder just got too much for me. I was losing more than I was actually putting on my face. So I ended up getting just the pressed powder. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze everything up. Yes, I have used this palette a hundred and a million times. You can obviously tell that I have, but I'm gonna be using the bronze color in the center and just a regular powder brush. And I'm just gonna kinda bronze things up for me so I'm not as pale. Gonna sweep away the powder that I am baking my face with, of course. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some blush. This is Wet n Wild's new color icon blush in the color Mellow Wine. Then, of course, using another new one by Wet n Wild, their Illuminating Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight as usual to get that highlight on. I think that's the term that people use. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and complete my look on <laughs> my bottom eye. I was waiting to do that till after I did this. So today I was using my Tarte Double Duty palette and a few eyeshadows from ColourPop. And now I'm gonna take some It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and line my waterline with my 24-7 eye pencil from Urban Decay in the color Zero. I'm just gonna add a little bit of lip color. Today I'm using Beeper by ColourPop, their Ultra Matte Lip. Okay, why not? I like never do lip color, so might as well do it this time. Switch it up. Keep myself on my toes. Yeah. I'm gonna spray everything down, set everything for this brand new setting spray I just bought by L'Oreal. It is their Infallible Pro Spray and Set, so spritz, spritz. Oh, I really should not have had my mouth open for that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't have your mouth open when you spray this. Ugh. Alright guys, so that is the end of my how to contour every day with theater makeup. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I had so much fun trying this and doing this and yada yada yada, you know. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, and I really hope to see every one of you guys in my next video, so bye guys!